I will give you the floor on somebody who's got his ear to the ground, finger on the pulse, every other way to put it. What is the story in the NFL this very morning uh, with two games left in week four, Peter King? What is it? Oh, I suppose, uh, you know, the antennae are up about COVID and about how serious it could, uh, you know, what it could mean with the, uh, you know, to play a full season, to play an on-time season. I think that's probably, even though, you know, there's one really good game tonight and there's one really good other team playing tonight, uh, and it certainly will be, you know, a good football night. I, I just think, you know, <laughs> you know, Rich, we, you know, I got up this morning very early, uh, for me anyway, on Monday, uh, because I wanted to find out what, if anything, was, uh, what was going on with the Patriots. And when I woke up and followed them during the morning, and was uh, making a couple of calls about it. You know, I look on Twitter and I see on WBZ in Boston, it's like the White Fort Bronco chase. Yeah, I know. You know, you've got a helicopter over the Patriots, five team buses going to Logan Airport. I, it's just, I don't mean to say what have we come to in this country <laughs> that we're covering second by second a team going to the airport to make sure a football game gets played tonight. But there's a little bit of weirdness to it all. Well, I mean, obviously 2020 is, is off the, off the rails as we know, uh, Peter, but I, I guess again, um, there is no greater escape in our country than national football league football. When fantasy leagues uh, are, are up and running for casual sports fans and so on and so forth. When you say the antennae are up, um, good news is that the Titans have tested negative for the first time throughout the organization today. Right. Uh, do we know what's hap- what, what happened there and what, what's been gleaned from it to potentially avoid uh, another such situation happening? Because it appears that the bullet was dodged with the Titans crossing streams with the Vikings uh, on that field on Sunday. Yeah. Um, is there anything that's been gleaned about the, what happened there well, about I, what can be done know, here? It's interesting you mentioned that rich. I think the good news for the NFL, I think is that, and I was explaining this to a member of the, um, well, I'll just say I was explaining it to someone who's going to be on the field, uh, tonight in Kansas city, um, who, told me that there are a lot of worried employees uh, in his building uh, about COVID and, uh, and the spread of COVID. And I said, well, you know, there's one, one thing I would say is, and, and obviously this is anecdotal, but, you know, this, if, if you're worried about football spreading COVID-19, uh, and I'm not saying that it doesn't, but when the Tennessee Titans played Minnesota, wouldn't you think that some members of the Minnesota Vikings, either team or staff or something, would have been infected if uh, a football game on the field were a super spreader event? Um, and I'm not saying that it isn't. <laughs> it could be. But to me... I think one of the issues that everybody was worried about is that once guys get their hands on each other and sweat on each other and and are in close proximity, uh, you know, COVID can spread. But it didn't, at least in that particular case. Um, Said that, I mean, the Tennessee Titans uh, are being obviously being investigated by both the league and the NFLPA. Uh, and again, I'm not there. I don't know what happened. You know, I read uh, yesterday what Ian Rappaport and Tom Pellicero reported uh, that uh, there are some concerns about maybe uh, some lax protocols, uh, you know, inside the Titans. So we'll see if that, you know, comes to fruition or uh, see if that's accurate. And But whatever it is, I think the one thing, I mean, I talked to Kevin Stefanski last night, 
And one of the things he told me, you know, he, he obviously was, I'm not saying jovial. He's not a particularly jovial guy. But he obviously was happy to relay some stories from the game and everything. He got dead serious when I asked him about uh, about COVID and about their protocols and, and, and all that other stuff. And, and, and he said, you know, we're taking it incredibly seriously and because we want him, he said, we want to play football. And I think that is a great message to be learned from what happened in Tennessee. And now obviously the Titans are going to have to have two or three days at least uh, with all negative uh, tests to be able to get back in their building and to be assured that they're going to be able to play a football game, uh, you know, this weekend against Buffalo. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.